Hello, my name is Hayley Quinn and I am a believer in real love. I am a dating expert with a difference. I like to talk about love, dating, sex and relationships through empowering you first. Because you know what, if we do that, everything else is gonna be made easy. So what we're gonna do in these videos is every single week I take two questions from my YouTube subscribers and I do my best to answer them. If you wanna send me your question personally, I will get through every single one. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Hayley Quinn or on Instagram at Hayley Quinn X. So tweet at me or leave me a comment and I'll be back to answer your questions as soon as I can. This question comes from a pretty successful software engineer with a solid academic background. Sounds like my kind of guy. <laughs> to summarize, he says, I just can't be proactive with women with people, especially with women. I look at my Facebook wall and I literally, and I don't exaggerate, see only guys or girls with proposals, weddings or children and I'm alone. And I keep thinking, what should I do to change it? So my question is, do I have to give up me for not being alone? Do I have to pretend? Do I have to force myself to change my personality to be attracted to by women? Do I have to somehow learn all those skills and stuff that you and other guys on YouTube show us that will make me more attractive? Sometimes I just look around and I feel like I cannot make a connection with any women connection with women although I'm inside I'm dying because I would so much need it okay there's two really important things that are going on here first of all Facebook and social media comparison analysis is the worst it makes everybody feel horrible because what we're doing is we're comparing actually our internal insecurities and shyness and stuff that we're dealing with with everybody else's like perfect life that they've put on the internet so just ignore the social media like Behind those happy pictures, you have no idea what's going on. Secondly, it's not about, this is the big trick, it's not about changing who you are or giving up on who you are and having to put on a fake personality. Instead, it's actually about being more you than ever and actually getting comfortable with starting to verbalise what you're really thinking and feeling. So we need to add dialogue in here. So if you see a woman that you're attracted to, it's that ability to be able to say that you're attracted to her as you're experiencing it. If you wanted to approach her but you feel really shy, it's about approaching her but admitting that you feel really nervous coming up and speaking to her. If it's that you are speaking to a woman and you thought this kind of woman would never have been interested in me, it's actually all right to say that. Because get this, real relationships are built on authenticity, they're built on acceptance, they're built on respect. So you have to feel like the other person likes you for who you are. And honestly, I say this from my true personal experience, the more I go out there and I'm comfortable with being where I'm at and the more I entrust that the right people will just accept me for who I am, the better things get. So yes, there are some things that you have to learn, but it's not learning to put on something that's different. It's actually learning with all these things you're thinking and feeling, with all that stuff that goes on inside your head, with all that rich internal life that you have, how can you start to express it? How can you start to communicate this to the outside world? And don't give up hope. It sounds like you're in a rut. We all get in ruts. I've been in a rut recently. Don't let that get you down, you know? Start to build those connections. Maybe take up a hobby or an interest where you can get to know people over a period of time. And gradually, gradually, if you remember one thing, it's give yourself permission to just say something that you're really thinking and feeling and be honest about it to people every day. This could be as simple as when someone says, how are you? You say, to be honest, I've been feeling a bit weird recently. Or to be honest, I haven't been feeling great. At this point in time where you start to actually show people not the fake you, but the real you that's in there somewhere, that's when the right people are going to come into your life. And actually, that's often what women find really attractive. So take ownership of who you are, keep the faith, and stop comparing your life to social media. Hi, I have trouble to keep a conversation going. I would start talking to her and say hi and introduce myself, ask for her name, then I just freeze. Okay, awesome. This is actually quite a, a simple question, so I just need you to learn a couple of skills. And the real trick here is actually feeling more comfortable with talking about yourself. So, you've got a couple of things that you can do. Uh, when she gives you her name, you can make a comment about that. So that could be, oh, your name's Ariel, like Little Mermaid, or Ruby, that's a really unusual name, or my sister's name is Anna. Uh, say, start to express and comment on the name that she gives you. Secondly, and I think this is better, you might be tempted to ask her something like, where are you from? What are you up to? What are you, where are you going? You know, what brings you here this evening? Asking her a direct question like that before she knows you is going to make her feel 
creeped out and she's going to feel like too much focus is on you. So instead, what I need you to do is think, almost ask yourself that question in your head and then give her the answer. So if you wanted to say to her, what are you up to this evening? You'd ask it to yourself and you'd say, I don't know about you, but tonight I'm going off to do blah, 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 blah. So do you see there's a little pattern here? There's something that you reach out and ask and request information from her, then you supply her with your opinion. So it could be, I don't know about you, uh, but I live over in East London uh, and I'm just visiting this part of the city for the event tonight. It's the, the sentence structure is kind of the same. If you, instead of saying, what's your favorite color? You say, I don't know about you, but my favorite color is red. Now, it takes a little time to click this as a habit of a way of speaking, but it honestly makes speaking to strangers so much easier. Because really, when you begin an interaction, you have to kind of like take the control of that interaction for maybe 30 to 60 seconds. The best way to do this is to be able to talk about yourself in a way that is charismatic and also invites the other person to respond to you. So practice those two little skills, uh, and I think uh, you'll be surprised that you'll soon be able to have longer and longer and longer interactions with the women that you meet. Anyway, my name's Hayley Quinn. Uh, I've loved answering these questions as usual. It actually puts me in a good mood, so please keep sending them in. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Hayley Quinn or on Instagram at Hayley Quinn X. Leave me a comment, tweet at me, find me, uh, and I will do my best to help you out. And thank you again for all your support and for subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you again with a couple more questions next week. Mm -hmm.